Members of the Bahamas National Trust and the environmental community are up in arms tonight over another case of indiscriminate dumping at one of the country's main protected zones, Bonefish Pond National Park. Our Giovanni Stewart visited the site today. It was the big comeback for the Bamboo Shack Valley Boys on New Year's Day. Back at number one, this time with an environmental theme, the magnificent wetlands of the Bahamas. Their depiction of Bonefish Pond National Park winning the best costume. The Bahamas is a very, very beautiful country, and we wanted to assist the National Trust and all the other government and non-governmental agencies that are promoting the preservation of our environment, in this case, the preservation and protection of wetlands. Chairman of the Valley Boys, Brian Adderley, on the group's strategic partnership with the Bahamas National Trust. But BNT Executive Director Eric Carey says he was alarmed to discover on Monday, just after the Valley's winning rush on Bay Street, that someone had dumped garbage apparently from a construction site in the protected area at Bonefish National Park. So you go from that high of, of seeing this thing celebrated on Bay Street, uh, Heyman's all over seeing it on Zepnest and around the world on, the, on the, 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 the live streaming, and you come here and you wonder, I mean, who would do something like this, you know? The government pumped nearly $200,000 into the wetland and wildlife park in southwest New Providence, which opened in 2010. Kerry says while the park's popularity has grown as an education and adventure area, generally, incidents of dumping are down at the 27 preservation sites managed by the BNT. But he says it's clear that they'll have to redouble their efforts in 2012 to get the message out about the importance of protecting the environment. You turn the corner here and you see this beautiful boardwalk and this beautiful environment, and even that idiot should have at least a tenth of an ounce of decency to go, boy, I really can't dump this here. But no, he doesn't. And he turns his vehicle around, dumps this right here in our parking lot, which every day has people. On weekends, uh, there's so many Bahamians and visitors that come here, bring their kids out, enjoy our boardwalk and our observation deck. Eric Carey says the BNT has had enough of this dumping problem, and now they're turning to the law, and they're offering a $2,000 award for the culprit or culprits. You know, maybe the idiot came with someone, an accomplice in the vehicle, but if the, the accomplice wants $2,000 to spend tomorrow, come to the National Trust, turn the idiot in, and we'll give you $2,000 cold cash. And, and unless we, we bring a couple of these people before the courts, gee, uh, we're going to continue to fight this battle, you know. With your focus on the environment, I'm Giovanni Stewart, ZNS News.